Hi everybody. This is the parachute preparation video. You will need to watch this video and complete making your parachute before tomorrow's session. You'll need scissors, glue, your wood glue, your X-Acto knife, and a measuring tool either your ruler or your tape measure. First step I'm gonna show you is to divide your string into three equal parts. So I need to get it open. And I'm going to measure the string so that I know how long it is and then divide it by three so I can get three equal lengths. And we're gonna time lapse this video too, so if it looks like I skip ahead, I did. <laughs> because you don't need to see me string all six holes once you've seen me do it once. But I'm going to make sure my string is straight. There's a little knot in here, so I have to take the knot out. So measuring from one tip of the string to the other. All of the kits are the same, so your string should be the same, but you wanna measure just in case. There's an inch or two difference, but it should be the same length. And I have, oops, six feet, looks like. Yes, six feet. So six feet divided by three equal lengths gives me two feet per string. And I'm going to measure two feet folded. One and two feet here. This is my two foot mark. If I fold it here and bring the leftover piece up to that top part, I should get three lengths. Show it to you again, where I measured my two feet. I fold it at the two mark. Now I have two ink equal lengths. And here where it ends, hold that, grab the tip of this one, and now all three of them are the same length. So I will cut the top loop and then come down to the bottom loop, cut that as well. Set that to the side. Unfold your parachute. We are going to cut the outside dotted one. There are two size parachutes here, and we are going to use the larger parachute. This is where the time-lapse video, as you're cutting on the dotted line all the way around the plastic sheeting. I have to figure out how to speed up the video. I don't know how to do that. Mm. All right, my parachute is cut out all the way around. Move my trash over. We have little reinforcements that you will place on the circles. 
hold that up there so you can see it. Right there, you're going to put the little circle reinforcements on top of the circles. those are on, I'm going to use my X-Acto knife to put a hole in the center of the reinforcement sticking. That's what the string, the shroud line is going to go through. So I go around through all six holes. of the holes. I want to show you in figure four it shows you that you're going to use one string and you'll use the two holes that are right next to each other for threading. This one string will go here and here. The second string you pick up will go here and here. And the third string will go here and here. So you're threading the two holes that are next to each other. And you want to use the least amount of string that you can use and still get a knot. And you want to be consistent on every hole with the amount of string that's left here at the top knot. So that the bottom, um, when you pull the strings together at the bottom of the chute, it will be even. So you just double knot, stick it through the hole. Tie the first knot like you're tying your shoe. As you can see, I'm struggling here. And I'm gonna double knot, make a second knot there. I have a little more string than necessary. I can make a third knot just because the string is there. Okay. Well, let's get that up to you so you can see that. It's just not it. So with this same, the end of this string, I'm gonna put it in this hole. If I can see where I made the hole, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger because plastic is folding in on itself. I'm going from the bottom up. You might want to do bottom down, but just be consistent on all of them. You do if you do one from the bottom up, do them all from the bottom up. If you do them from the top down, do them all from the top down. Gonna 
try to save as much string as I can and not have too much left over here on the top. Double knot. And then we might as well triple knot that one too because I had some left over. And that's my first side. We're gonna do that for the next two. I'm gonna cut the tape off and do my next two and we'll come back when I get them done. Okay, we're back. All of the holes have been threaded. So now if I pull the top part of my parachute and pull down, all of the strings are on and equal. So you'll open the parachute. If you knotted it, from the top, then you'll put the top up where the knots are. If you knot it at the bottom, then you just flip it so that the knot is up facing you, it's up top, because you're going to put just a tiny drop of glue on each knot, and that will ensure that the force from the second ejection charge won't rip the parachute and it won't let the knot unravel. So we're gonna put just a dot of glue on all six knots, all six holes there. Here. And you wanna make sure you use the wood glue because I made the mistake and used the <laughs> Super glue the CA, which melts plastic. And you don't want to do that to your parachute. I just added an extra little dot there because it looks like the paper ripped a little bit on that one. You want to make sure it doesn't rip. And it's done. Your parachute is done. Leave it um, facing up for a couple of hours just to make sure that the glue has enough time to dry. Then you're ready uh, for the six o'clock session. We'll see you at six. Well, actually we'll see you a few minutes before six. We can't log on at six and start at six. So you have to log on with your materials already out and your parachute already finished. See you then.